Funny thing is, I was trying to cancel this because I spoiled what was in it. I don't, wasn't uber wanting what was in it. But it is almost impossible to log into your account and you don't have a tracking, like an account number. It's so crazy. They make it near impossible to cancel your subscription. And the one, when I finally was able to log in, though I had been entering the same information over and over and over again, they said it was going to my mom's address. I'm like, oh, yes. Anyway, so I will show you what's in here. Um, to get a thing, and I did send us an email saying that in October it was going up to $23 because it was going to include six products, and at least three of them would be full size. Okay, the first thing in here is from Pixie. This is the Skin Treats Rose Oil Blend, it has rose and pomegranate oils. Um, Skin loving ingredients, rose oil, nourishes and rejuvenates, pomegranate oil, antioxidant and vitamin pack, rose geranium oil, tones and balances. Um, your first ingredient is sweet almond oil. Then you got the rosa canina fruit oil. Then you got jojoba seed oil. You got orange peel oil. Polargonium gravel onions flower oil. Punerica granatinum seed oil. Rosa damascena flower oil. Uh, a couple of those. Um, I'm guessing one of those weird flower names was pomegranate. It says the Lux Oil Blend is a rich source of botanical oils and vitamin E. Helps to preserve and nourish skin rejuvenating and supplements is improved, resulting in healthy looking and luminous skin for all skin types. Use AM and PM, salt two or three drops into cleanse, hydra cleanse toned skin for extra hydration and glow. Add one or two drops to your moisturizer before applying. All right. This is what I didn't want. This is a full size thing. This is worth $24. And you can buy it at Pixie BD. You might even be able to get it at Target. The reason why I didn't really want this. One, I have a face oil. I love Tarte Maracuja oil. Nothing's going to replace that. I could add a second one, but really Tarte's where it's at. It has so much vitamin C in it that it's like, I don't need extra vitamin C kind of thing. And it keeps my skin glowing. But I really didn't want this because my eyes are not fans of rose. Like, I cannot really use a rose face mask because I don't know if the fragrance or whatever naturally in rose just like, it doesn't make my eyes water, but like they blink and it just kind of like, you kind of makes up lightly irritating to my eyes. Now, I love roses flower themselves and like bushes, being around bushes don't bother me, but like put it on my face somewhere near my eyeball and my eyes don't like it so I probably won't use this I'll probably actually give it to my sister-in-law so most of this is like samples which sucks um this month too okay this is from floss this is a brighten up highlighter no carmine this says $20 from flossitup.com shown here looks like a champagne at first glance but it transforms into a subtle bowl on the skin what shade this is I don't know I don't think this is full size it could be it is four grams Jeez. packaging kind of oh that is soft like that is the soft it almost feels like a cream but it's not a cream oh my gosh that is so soft wow look at that that is gorgeous I need to see it but oh my gosh that is gorgeous Okay, never mind, I changed my mind. I don't think this is 20, I don't, I don't think that's a full size. But it's very pretty and highlighter will take you four grams or no to run through it. Because like Ofra's highlighters, I think they're a little bit bigger than most people's, but there's 10 grams. Okay, this is from H2O. It is the Hydration Sensitive Gel Cream Moisturizer. Um, it's, full size is $42. Full size looks like it's 1.7 ounce. This is 10 milliliters. The full size is 50 milliliters, so $8 an ounce. So this is like $3 worth of product, maybe. $2 to $3 worth of product. So 
that's just a little sample size. Um, I wish I put use some in my empties before. Okay, it is spiked with chamomile to quell redness and irritation. And it also features common hyssop and hydrating squalene. It's oil free but still has rich thickness and offers immediate relief. So, there's that. Okay. It says our expert formulas are fueled by H2O proprietary hydro amino infusion and powerful synergetic blend with triple of strength action and a boost of amino acids to maintain optimum hydration levels. Developed with clean, effective ingredients and formulated without parabens, sulfates, phthalates, synthetic fragrance, mineral oil, and formaldehyde made in Japan. So it's made in Japan. Okay. Your first ingredient, you got glycerin, diglycerin, trithaloxonian, then you got squalene, you got hydrogenated lectopin, you got imethicone, a couple other things. You got some flour extract chamomiles in there. It's a little bit past halfway down. Before that, you've got agus dash Mexicana flour extract. So it's for sensitive skin and for me. Next up, and this is full size. It's expensive. I'm talking uh, uh, Tatcha expensive. Sunday Riley expensive. Probably more Sunday Riley actually. Um. This is Sulawasu First Care Activating Serum. Full size is $84. Okay, full size is probably an ounce. This is uh, 0.27 ounce or 8 milliliters. Okay, it says First Care Activating Serum. Serum improves major signs of aging while boosting your routine, featuring Jome Balancing Complex, a cocktail of five green herbs that soothes, nourishes, and firms for a healthy glow. It says after you wash in the morning and evening, pump on the hands and apply fingertips. Camilla Sinusi. Go on it. It has a lot of ingredients. Um, perfumes before all these though, but it does have jujuba fruit oil. I don't think this is the same thing I had. I had something that was a licorice serum which I actually really like, and then I saw the price tag, which was more than this. Um, it was more than this. I want to say it was over $100. Um, I had gotten it as a sample from uh, Beautylish. I'm like, I suppose you did. You're trying to get me to buy the expensive stuff. But yeah, they, I swear I looked exactly like this. Next up, and rough it, this is Erno Laszlo Sea Mud Deep Cleansing Bar. It doesn't have a scent through the thing. This is a sea mud one. Yeah, this is a seed mud deep cleansing bar. The brand's most classic product because I guess they recently relaunched. Um, emulsifies into an inky liquid that gently rids the face of grime. It collects during the long day. Um, I actually used to use bar soap a lot, and I, sometimes I still do. Um, Especially if I have like some kind of oil in them. And I just need like a double cleanse. Like or triple cleanse. I'm talking about like triple. Like so let's say I have grease makeup on my face and I need more cleanse. I will go in with a bar soap made for your face. But a bar soap like the Shea Moisture bar soaps that like have the coconut oil. Stuff because I feel that those break down like grease makeup and stuff like that a lot better. Um, and I had a black soap one. I quit using it. I thought you know what I do use it for? I clean my brushes and my beauty sponge with it. It's great at getting all that out. Um, so that's probably what I'll use this for and up using it for. Um, no packaging. So it does have charcoal powder and it's apparently black. Uh, full size is $38. I don't know if this is $38, like the full size. If this is the full size, then I would Don't pay it. <laughs> Don't pay it. Okay, next up is from. This is a Wish Botanical Primer with Baku Chill. Skin balances, reducing environmental stress. Um, Heaven Feast, sulfate free, phthalate free, DEA and TEA free. 
uh, some petrochemical free, cruelty free, leaping bunny certified. This is uh, 0.75 ounce, so 22 milliliters. It's almost a full size. Saying um, $44 for a 2.5 ounce. In addition to argon oil and aloe, it contains birth control, a gentle natural alternative to retinol. Hmm. On the day that I that this lady decided to give a test dry, her skin was looking dry, and after a few minutes, um, her dry spots were smooth. Hmm. The blurring formula faded the red blotches on her chin and cheeks, and her pores, even the large ones, d disappeared. It makes it so you need less makeup. And people have just been wearing it on its own. Balancing skin with uh, sea buckthorn extract, coconut water, organic soybean. Uh, has pomegranate oil, bacchul, and lavender leaf extract to protect. It moisturizes with organic coconut fruit extract, organic argan oil, and organic aloe. So this is suffering from dry skin and huge pores. Left from drying makeup, this natural botanical primer not only minimizes pores and even skin tone, but it also leaves skin feeling moisturizer and moisturized and dewy looking. You will be left looking radiant and moisturized and ready for the day ahead. Aloe, like about halfway down, glycerin before that. That back control before the glycerin. Coconut's pretty down there, so it's lavender. And organic or argan argan oil is pretty far down there. So it shouldn't bother my skin. My skin does not like pure or argan oil. It like clogs my pores for some reason. It just does. But if it's that far down there, I'm not really worried about it. It should be okay. So I'm excited to try this. I'll give it a go. That is just to open my another Dr. Brandt luminizing primer. And last but not least, we always do get a sheet mask. Which is nice. Um, and this is Hello Mama Kama. <laughs> More um, aspirin. <laughs> Looks and mail. What is this? Brightening Lift Up Perfect Fit Mask. How cute. This looks in May. It's the brand. That is the brand. How cute. I like that kind of writing. Um, $3. Looks in May. USA.com. Lower 20 for a discount. Contains niacinamide, which is like for pores and wrinkles. I think I don't know. Uh, vitamin C to brighten, a bunch of floral and plant extracts. This is moist, milky accent, uh, uh, essence provides radiance and moisture to dry and dull skin to make skin brighter and hydrated. Adjust and fits the face with the texture and elasticity, uh, which gives skin healthy skin and natural glow. Brilliant layering system gives the skin a brighter tone, and the Vita 3 complex of this brightening mask provides the skin with a clear, shining moisture. Made in Korea. So that's interesting. Um, and, and I tried that brand. I haven't really heard of that brand. Now, overall, this month was just disappointing to me. I knew, like, it had a lot of samples in it, even though they're expensive samples. And then this, this thing's worth $38. But, yeah, it just didn't draw me this month. I was going to try to skip it. And, apparently, you have to contact them days in advance before you get billed. Days. And I was trying to do it, like, two days before or something. You need days. So, yeah, that wasn't why I didn't cancel. It was just like too much of a hassle trying to log in and find my account, which is a mess. So, yeah, I mean, I'm sort of interested in the samples, but the big thing, the big draw was just me. And then, you know, face masks, it's a face mask. And I like face masks, but, you know, I have a man on there. So, anyway, that is my Allure Beauty Box. So, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Toodles.